Hi, this is a lesson on multiplication of decimal numbers, where to get the answer, you're going to have to write some zeros in the product. Uh, and you're going to have to know where to write them, and uh, I'm going to show you. Our learning intention today is that you will be able to multiply these decimal numbers uh, by knowing exactly where to write the zeros in the product and how many zeros to write. So let's get started. The skills you're going to need are multiplication facts. Um, all of the examples I'm going to show you today are mental math. And so uh, knowing, you know, 6 times 8 and 5 times 7 and things like that are, uh, is going to be extremely uh, important. And then uh, the vocabulary, I'm going to be saying factor and product. Now, if you don't know those terms, you're going to have to review them before you continue with this lesson. Here are the notes for lesson 4.8. Uh, they're the same notes as uh, lesson 4.7 because we're going to be doing the same kinds of things. Anytime you multiply with decimals, uh, the traditional algorithm, you do exactly the same thing. All right, here's our first two example problems. We have 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.05. And uh, we're not going to set this problem up and do it. We're going to do this with mental math. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to count the decimal places in the factors. So that's job one. Uh, so I'm going to start with the first factor and it's 0 0.2. There is one decimal place uh, after the decimal and in 0 0.05 there are one, two, which means in the product there's going to be a total of three. One, two, three. So you just count up the decimal places and that will tell you how many spaces over to uh, you need to move over to put the decimal in the answer when we get the answer, the product. All right, from then we can do the multiplication. That's just going to be mental math. So I'm going to take these two digits, 2 times 5 or 5 times 2, uh, and in your head you, sh you should be able to say, okay, that's 10. All right, I got 10. Then I'm going to, uh, so the mental math is first, then I'm going to take the decimal places that I counted in each factor and I'm going to put it in the product. And again, I'm going to use the highlighter here. So I'm going to move over three spaces. Remember, start from the right. And you go over one space, two spaces, three spaces, and the decimal goes there. Now, the answer is not 0.10 because there's an empty space here. And this is the whole lesson, really, knowing where to write the zeros in the product. Uh, so anytime I see a space that I've created with my organization, I'm going to put a zero there. So the answer, or the product, is 0 0.01. And then you can take off that last zero if you need to. Uh, you don't have to. You just leave it on there, and you'd have the, exactly the same answer. All right, so we're counting the decimal places and then placing that in the factor. So let's move on to the next one over here. It is 0 0.04 times 0 0.7. Count the decimal places. There's 1, 2, and a total of 3. Make a note of that. All right, there's three decimal places that are going to be in the product. Now I use mental math. 4 times 7, I write the answer, which is 28. After that, I'm going to count the decimal places from the right. This time I'm not going to use the highlighter. I'm going to use my pencil. So if, the, if I start here, I'm going to move over, move over one space, two spaces, three spaces, and the decimal goes there. Now, what do I write in the blanks? Zeros. And a zero goes there. Uh, and that's the answer. So 0 0.04 times 0 0.7 is 0 0.028. All right, this is our final example problem. And you're not going to encounter a problem like this in your book or in fifth grade or maybe even in any grade. I'm just going to show you that it's the same method and it works for however long these numbers are. Uh, and so first thing we're going to do is count the decimal places in the factors. So in this first factor, there are one, two, three, four decimal places. There's four digits behind the decimal. And in this factor, there are one, two decimal places, and that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six decimal places that are going to be in the product. Uh, and then we do just the simple multiplication fact, two times two, write the answer, it's four. 
Uh, and then with our highlighter again, we're going to move over six spaces. And remember, go from the right. Common error is you start counting from the left and get some huge number. Uh, but you're going to count from the right here and go over one space, two spaces, three spaces, four spaces, five spaces, six spaces, and put the decimal. All right, and then here's the lesson. It's called writing zeros in the product. And so we're going to write a bunch of zeros now in the product. One, two, three, four. I don't really have to count these. Uh, and there's the answer. So the method will work no matter how long the string of numbers is that you're dealing with. Our task today is page 199, 10 problems with a 90% accuracy to master the skill. Good luck.